Kick-Ass Facts. Today's episode is dedicated to kick-ass women who did kick-ass things. Bow, 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 bow. If you want to continue playing trivia with me, not these questions, but you can play trivia against me. <laughs> Good luck with that. It's actually pretty easy. I have zero recall for anything that I read. You can head over to the link tree in my bio. March 31st, 1972, Dick Cavett was hosting a show and Chad Everett and this actress were guests on the show. A segment centered around animals. Chad Everett said how much he loved animals and then he said, I have three horses, three dogs, and a wife. She's the most beautiful animal I own. This take no shit legend said, you own, I have to leave. And then she walked off stage to a smattering of applause. Let's give, let's give her the applause she deserves. Who was it? A, Jane Fonda, B, Lily Tomlin, C, Linda Carter, or D, Farrah Fawcett? Correct answer is B, Lily Tomlin. And I will add a link in the description if you want to see the video. In 1921, Bessie Coleman was the first African-American woman and first self-identified Native American to do this. Coleman developed an interest in this thing, but African-Americans, Native Americans, and women had no training opportunities in the United States. So she saved all her money and earned sponsorships in Chicago so that she could go to France and pursue her dream. What was her dream? A, to become a conductor, B, to become an engineer, C, to become a pilot, or D, to become a doctor? Correct answer is C, to become a pilot. She was known as Queen Bess, a barnstorming stunt flyer performing dangerous tricks in the air. She quickly gained a reputation as a skilled and daring pilot who would stop at nothing to complete a difficult stunt. Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman in the United States to do this in 1849. She faced significant opposition and discrimination in the male-dominated field. She was forced to sit separately at lectures and often excluded from learning opportunities, and local townspeople shunned her as a bad woman for defying her gender role. What was she the first American woman to do? A, earn a medical degree, B, become an ordained minister, C, become a lawyer, or D, become an engineer? The correct answer is A, earn a medical degree. Blackwell was inspired to pursue medicine by a dying friend who said her ordeal would have been much better had she had a female physician. Most male physicians trained as apprentices to experienced doctors, and there were few medical colleges and none that accepted women, though a few women had apprenticed and became unlicensed physicians. I've told you about this badass before. Let's see if you've been paying attention. Gloria Orwoba is a Kenyan politician who has served as a nominated senator representing women in the Senate of Kenya since 2022. She firmly believes in addressing the root causes of stigma surrounding menstruation through education and awareness. In 2023, she received international press attention for doing this, and this prompted the Senate president to ask her to leave the chamber. What did she do? A, adhere maxi pads to all the chairs. B, displayed used period products. C, wore period bloodstained pants. Or D, wore tampons as earrings. The correct answer is C, wore period bloodstained pants. The speaker ruled that our robot needed to leave the chamber and return in clean clothes. Coincidentally, on the same day, in a separate incident, fellow Senator Karen Nayamu had been asked to leave the chamber after wearing a sleeveless dress. In 1967, Catherine Switzer became the first woman to officially do this. At that time, women were not allowed to participate in this sport, but Switzer registered using her initials KV Switzer. When officials realized she was a woman, one of them tried to physically remove her. Her determination to finish, despite opposition, helped challenge gender barriers in sports. What did she do? A. Participate in a triathlon. B. Run the Boston Marathon as a numbered entrant. C. Enter a discus throwing competition. Or D. Enter a swimming race. The correct answer is B. Run the Boston Marathon as a numbered entrant. Women athletes are pushing back against restrictive standards for clothing in competition. During the European Beach Handball Championships, the Norwegian women's beach handball team was fined for not wearing the sport's typical bikini bottoms, instead opting for shorts. The Norwegian women's beach handball team, that's a mouthful, paid a 1,764 American dollar fine for being improperly dressed, handed down by the European Handball Federation. Who offered to pay the fee for the team? A, Taylor Swift. B, Miley Cyrus, C, Cindy Lauper, or D, Pink? The correct answer is D, Pink. Still on sports, in 2018, Serena Williams wore one of these at the French Open and was accused of disrespecting tennis and a ban was placed on the garment. Tennis has long been a sport where fashion choices have been a source of conflict. Male and female players alike have either towed the line and adhered to the strict code dress codes or others have boycotted tournaments because of them. Unlike Wimbledon and its all-white dress code, the French Open has traditionally been a tournament where players can express themselves through fashion. What did Serena Williams wear that caused such a stir? A. Bermuda shorts, B. A cat suit, C. Yoga pants, or D. A shirt with a political slogan? The correct answer is B. A cat suit, and she wore the shit out of that cat suit. She looked amazing. Side note, 
In the 1985 Wimbledon tournament, tennis star Anne White followed the all-white rule, but she wore a white catsuit instead of a tennis skirt. Commentators noted that while the average woman could not get away with wearing a bodysuit, White's long and lean body made her the exception. However, 17 years later, when Serena Williams wore a catsuit to the 2002 U.S. Open, she was slut-shamed, body-shamed, and generally shit-talked.